the day to you. On the evening of April the 25th, 1958, a young Korean exchange student, a leader in Christian affairs at the University of Pennsylvania, left his flat and went to the corner to post a letter to his parents in Busan. Turning from the mailbox, he stepped into the path of eleven leather-jacketed teenage boys. Without a word, they attacked him, beat him with blackjack, a lead pipe, shoes and fists. Later, when the police found him in the gutter, he was dead. All Philadelphia cried out for vengeance. The district attorney received legal authority to try the boys as adults so that those found guilty could be given the death penalty. Then a letter arrived from Korea. A letter that made everyone stop and think. It was signed by the parents and by 20 other relatives of the murdered boy. It read in part, Our family has met together and we have decided to petition that the most generous treatment possible within the laws of your government be given to those who have committed this criminal action. In order to give evidence of our sincere hope contained in this petition, we have decided to save money, to start a fund to be used for the religious, educational, vocational and social guidance of the boys when they are released. We have dared to express our hope with a spirit received from the gospel of our Saviour Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. What a moving story! From time to time I have come across similar stories of forgiveness in our own country, South Africa. For example, the forgiveness of the family of Amy Beale, an American exchange student and activist against apartheid who was murdered in Guguletu, outside Cape Town in 1993. She was murdered by a group of young men, men, all of whom were pardoned at the request of her parents, Linda and Peter Beale, who founded the Amy Beale Foundation Trust to develop and empower youth in the townships in order to discourage further violence. Two of the young men who had been convicted of her murder eventually worked for the foundation as part of its program. It reminds me of Jesus on the cross saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And Stephen being stoned to death under the authority of Saul of Tarsus Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. I believe this was one of the final pricks to the soul of Saul that brought about his conversion to become Paul, that great missionary of the Christian church. Yes, forgiveness is a very powerful tool in the hands of us Christians. It brings into focus the power and action of the amazing sacrificial love of God. Forgiveness also purifies those who forgive, purifying them of all hatred, bitterness and resentment. Let us pray. Father God, help us to follow Jesus' example and the example of great souls over the years who have by your grace been able to forgive those who have sinned against them. So help us to be part of your forgiving team, using this incredible tool of love to spread your good news of salvation and the power of forgiveness and love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go now, forgive as you have been forgiven, and be part of of God's forgiving love. Amen.